With a little bit of luck, we can make it through the night. It's a sound that's taken two guys from North London all around the world. We played in um, Kazakhstan for the Prime Minister's wife or something like that. So somehow she was a garage fan. Dubai. Yeah, played over here. Um, yeah. Rain Australia. Croatia. But when DJ Luck and MC Neat made their first UK garage records, this is where they started, on an illegal pirate radio station on top of this town block. And the funny thing is, the guys that used to set up with us, there's three of us, four of us, one of them is now a barrister, <laughs> one of them owns his own um, bath, bathroom sort of company, massive. It's kind of strange. And you just basically set up your rig, go out onto the roof, set up your aerial, you'd be broadcasting, FM style. And this was a real bus. And I ain't been here for 20 years, so it's really quite, quite amazing. Luck and Neat released the little bit of luck in 1999. It quickly became one of the defining tracks of the UK garage genre, which is now being passed on to a new generation. 14-year-old Frankie is digging in the crates, spending his birthday money in one of the last record stores in London to specialise in UK Garage, and his mum is giving him a helping hand. Went to all of the raves, I still do sometimes, but <laughs> when I can. Um, but yeah, it's just a massive passion, Garage, Garage, Garage. How did that, you know, how did you start listening to Garage? You know, probably, when I was probably five, started. Garage in the car. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. From a baby, really. Even though the commercial hits have dried up, the unique sound can still be heard on the airwaves today. When you get bands like, say, like, like say, Disclosure, you can hear in Disclosure's music at some stage. Someone in your house is playing garage. You know, my Nobody knows which direction garage will take next, but this weekend fans will gather to celebrate how far this genre has travelled at the Garage Nation Festival on Streatham Common. Luck and Neat are among the headliners, and with 10,000 people expected to show up and tickets already on sale for 2017, it's clear that UK Garage hasn't reached the end of the line just yet. Daniel Henry, BBC London News.